I'm going to remove your camera for now because okay, we don't need you're both. Start with that one. Oh, I think we're live. I think we are live. <laughs> it says we're live. So I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. No one's watching yet. So we're going to wait just a little tiny bit to see if anyone joins. <laughs> and if not, we will just record this for those people who want to watch on replay. So we have one person watching. Hello, person who's watching. It's me, Liz, from Liza Jane Designs in Afton, Minnesota. My friend Jill is here with me again today. She's going to man the, the important camera. There, oh, there's Jill. The She's going to do the camera that's going to be focused on the project we're going to do. So right now, I just want to say hello. You see my face because it's FaceTime and they say they want to see your face. So here it is. It's my face. Um, a little bit older than the last time you saw it, but I'm feeling better. I've had terrible sinus problems and ear infections. And so I still have a little bit of cough. Hopefully it won't act up during the video. So my two viewers... I want to see if I can see comments. If you are here and you want to say hello, I would like that. It would help me know that you're here and you can hear me. Three people watching now. Thank you so much. So what we're going to be doing today, well, Roy Cycle Treasures. I'm going to I'm going to turn this around and let Jill be the camera. And I'm gonna I'm gonna minimize me. Let's let's make this one the bigger one. I don't know how to do all this stuff, you guys. We're gonna make this one the big one. Not that one. This one. There we go. Okay, well, that's that. I want this to be smaller. How do I make that smaller? Um, I can't remove it from the stream because if I do, you won't be able to hear me anymore. So I guess you're going to see two of me. You're going to see the me working and the me with my head down. Um, All right, and I'm on the you working. So, yeah. Could I? I'm going to. I'm going to take over the show again. Jill, you come be in my my frame. You go be in my frame so they're not watching nothing. And I what have I'm nothing gonna do, to say. <laughs> that's okay. We're going to show over here the brand new Roy Cycle Treasures stencil. So Royce, just now, she released these stencils for sale yesterday. <laughs> um I was able to pre-order them when I was in Arizona um, at a, a retreat Royce sponsored. So I got them into the shop this week. There's three so far, and there's she's coming out with a couple more. I'm going to turn this one back to okay. Jill and show you. We're going to be using today the urn stencil. I love this stencil. I'm like, kind of like Roy says, it's my favorite. And then she'll say, that's my favorite. But this is, I think this really is my favorite. It's got beautiful detail. Let me show you the project we did um, at Roy Cycle Treasures at college, right? So you can see the urn, right? You see the urn, uh, what we did at college was we used this is just some kind of a not expensive paper that we began with and we decoupaged scraps to just make a background um we decoupaged How about the little bird in there? yeah the little bird with the crown is kind of mm -hmm. cute i would so much want to make this is very has I a lot want of texture. This to be the focus. And a lot of different. I don't know why that is. Okay. Lots of texture in there. 
Um, yeah, so created the urn with the stencil that we're going to use today. And then we did some more stamping and painting with uh, gesso and white chalk paint, adding watercolor. So you stay tuned. If you want to learn how to do this whole thing, I will be stepping that out in live videos and also putting um, an edited video on my on my YouTube channel to show the whole process from start to finish. But we're going to set this guy aside. He's ready. We have an audience here today. You want to show, can you briefly show them our audience? I don't think she'll mind. This is our audience. Say hello. Helen. Hello. Helen, who's one of our awesome hello. neighbors and hello. really awesome hello. customer here. So Helen, I... I asked you to please, if you have questions while we're working, please go ahead and ask them. Whoever's watching, um, you know, they may have, hey, Royce, Royce is watching. Good, good afternoon or whatever it is in your neck of the woods. Hi, Deborah <laughs> from Minneapolis. And we are, we're going to double Royce today. We're using this Roycycle Treasures tissue. Like a patina. It's, a, it's like a beautiful rusty patina. And we're gonna use the new urn stencil. I'm gonna take it right out of the package here. Um, hi, Misty, great to have you here. Um, so I'm going to open up this brand new, just hit the shelves yesterday, stencil of an urn. And we're going to stencil this onto the decoupage tissue. So here it is. I tell you guys, um, we go side by side. I kind of want to minimize. Let's do solo layout, not with this one though. <laughs> Add to stream. <laughs> no. <laughs> if I do that, I don't think you can hear me anymore. Can you still hear me, you guys? Hi, Sherry. I'll be sending out vendor information to you very soon. I've committed to having it out by Monday. So. Can you guys still hear me? Can I get a like a thumbs up or a yes or a no? I minimize. Okay. Misty says yes. Awesome. So Jill, you're, you've got the I camera. The camera. Okay. So what I'm going to do is <coughs> take the paper, audition the stencil. Like what do I want this to look like? I'm so, so confused many. because of this mirror image. Okay. <laughs> Jill also has had a terrible cold. I'm sorry. Yeah. We don't have COVID though. That's the good news. The good news is we have a <coughs> a regular nasty cold so that doesn't way. want to. So I'm just kind of going around sure. to see where I like it. Although I'm going to be covering up, right? What I like this. I like this. So what I think I want to do is cover those parts that I like so that my, my paint is going other places. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm putting dark paint on here. So what I'm using today for that <coughs> is I'm using DIY paint. I have layered chocolate and I have some red and I'm gonna kind of mix them together in a cup I used yesterday. So this has white but that white paint, oh, I thought it was dry. It's not. That's okay. You get what you get. I'm going to mix <laughs> some red, but I don't want it to be a pink urn. I want it to be earthy and brown. So I'm going to add in until I like what I've got. I'm going to add in some orange. And I, Royce always likes to say, do as I say, not as I do. You should not put your dirty brush in your paint. Don't do that. I'm going to put a little orange in here. Try to do it without. And just mix these things, I think. Let's try it out. I don't know. It's kind of light. But I'm going to start with it. 
That's our color. That's our color. And I'm pouncing with a stencil brush. We pounce, <coughs> pounce, pounce, because pouncing is the motion that works best to avoid getting underneath the, the stencil. How much paint are you cuts. putting on your brush? Liz? Very little paint. I probably actually put too much. A good practice when you're stenciling is to offload on the side of your, all right, offload. I'm going to leave some of this uh, beautiful, I'm not going to cover it completely. I want to let some of that peek through. So in some of these places, I'm, I'm going to go super light and leave that patina showing. You see what I mean? I'm just going to like dry brush over that and leave a lot of it. Um, so you can still see the blue and the orange of the, the patina on the paper. <coughs> I like where the orange shows. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I color mix as I go here, right, to get different shades in there. Ooh, I like the orange. So coming in, stamp, 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 pounce, pounce into the openings. We played a card game boom, boom, pounce boom. last night. Have How does that, that go? I have not played it's pounce. It's a little bit like solitaire, but with a big group. It was very quick. I'm not very good at it. Well, was it fun? Because I never played solitaire. That's probably why. It was fun. Yeah, that to me is the important part, right? Um, I can be nastily competitive. I'm not very competitive, and that's probably I don't want to be competitive when I play cards, and I want to just have fun. But sometimes I start focusing on the game and, and the winning, and it's not good. Well, you and Brooke maybe shouldn't play cards together. <laughs> In my family growing up, we played a game called High Low Jack, um, and I, I know it's called Pitch in some circles. We played High Low Jack or High Low Jack game. It's a it was a really fun game, bidding a bidding game, and you went and you took tricks. And my family, we played what we called cutthroat, <laughs> and it was <laughs> cutthroat. It got kind of nasty in there sometimes. All right. So I try not to bring that out in myself when I'm playing cards. I don't want to go there. It's a game, and we're here to have fun. I think this is it. I'm going to peek, though. Can I I should peek this side so the camera. So, we're ready to so I'm just going to. I think that's looking pretty good, right? I like it. Um, I'm going to darken it up in some places before I really lift the stencil. So I'm going to take more of my chocolate and I'm going to come in here next to these lines. Oops, I might have snitched a little. Yep, I did. So I'm going to replace it. Stencils are forgiving that way. You can get it back to where it was. And I'm just going to... I'm... Uh, just darkening it up in some areas. So, this is it. I'm lifting. Ooh, I absolutely love it. What do you guys think? Anybody liking this? Um, Misty says she's been building a vase, taking a break. And oh, well, good. It's good to take breaks. So, what I'm going to do now, we're going to kind of let this dry and then we're going to cut it out. And I'm going to cut it out to be a decoupaged element so that when we come to do this, right, this is our, <coughs> this is the original that. Is that what you did on this piece? On this piece, I did not. In this piece that we created at Recycled Treasures at college, we created a mixed media background using torn bits of decoupage tissue. So we created a background. 
And when we were happy with our backgrounds, we just took the stencil and stenciled right onto the paper. So I didn't, I did not stencil on decoupage paper separately like I'm doing here. I decoupaged over, over my background. So it's kind of like started like this, put some tissue paper on, but then I just decoupaged. I'm sorry, I didn't decoupage. I stenciled the urn onto that background paper and then we went from there. But for this, I want to put this on a I don't know, a simpler background, perhaps. So I'm going to find my pair of scissors here. And I'm going to hope this is dry enough to work with. And I'm going to cut the outline of this. I think, Royce, if you're still watching, you did something like this yesterday when you um, did the demo of the new... Oh, if, if you'd like to, our friend Helen here, which in a demo of why she's such a great friend, has just offered to wash the stencil we used. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. It isn't like super critical because I could get the paint off later. But... I think there might be some in the studio. Paper towels. Yeah, or here's a, here's a cloth. You could use that guy. So... I'm being gingerly here. I am gingerly cutting because where the paper is wet, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get too close there. But I want you to see how this is going to come out and how it's going to look. I am so just excited about all the possibilities of, you know, Royce has her own aesthetic which I love, which is kind of grungy and well, steampunk. I'm not, I'm not really partial to steampunk, but I love rusty, crusty old stuff. And I'm just excited about the combination of these gorgeous papers and these fun stencils combined, right? <coughs> so. The paper is kind of wet. I'm not going to get in there in the fine detail places because I don't want, I don't want to rip. It's very good. Watch out your feet's off while you're helping. Well, here we have some good things coming. I'm sorry that you don't feel well, Jill. That is such a bummer. I... I've been there all week. I'm starting really now to be much, much better. I'm hoping we're going to turn around for you soon. Yes. Um, so here, I mean, you can see <coughs> where it's going. I'm going to finish right in here. I'm going to cut out. See, I don't want to. That's know. beautiful get kind of close here. I'll probably not get too close there until it is really good and dry, but I'm going to snip and come around and we'll put this down on the back of my other project just to show you. Misty, thank you. Jill's heart does need a good blessing. <laughs> um, so we're going to come back to you know, the back side of this mixed media project, right? We have, there's the front with the pumpkins and the grapes and the leaves. Here's Helen back with a cleaner stencil. Thank you, Ooh, Helen. Thank you. Um, so just plain old. I mean, look how gorgeous, right? <laughs> look how gorgeous that urn is with the stencil applied to this rusty what do you think helen oh you cut it out yeah <laughs> what do you think look good super it is it pretty awesome. isn't it it does i love that patina look behind so what the... i'm going to do going forward here is you might need 
I'll create some kind of a background here. Do some, do something to make the background more interesting. And then apply some stamps of flowers or pumpkins again, grapes. Do like a, a cornucopia type burn full of goodness. Um, and do some painting on there. But this urn, I'm going to turn again. Let's flip the page compared to this urn I also think is gorgeous, right? It's, it's, a, it's a different kind of look <coughs> with the background. But if we use this one, right, it just adds that patina. That patina so now my background could be maybe more simple and, and I'm still going to come down on here with other elements, but isn't that fun? Thank you, Royce, for these beautiful, <laughs> um, beautiful stencils. And I, I'm just loving that <laughs> Royce is coming out with <coughs> products that play well together. I want to quick grab... Um, Jill's going to go grab some water while she does that. I'm going to quick grab um, one of the other stencils that just came out. And this is something that, this one is um, like a cloche. So we could put this, I don't know if you can see the cutout. We're going to be able to, it fits. It fits onto the top of the urn. You could you could do just a part of that, like it's a plate with a cloche on top. Uh, this has, I think, Royce calls that a death moth or something. If you if you're not into that, you could tape right over it and just you don't have to have the moth, you or you could, could have just, just the crown or no. Cr some, yeah, totally. Do some flowers. So they or they work plants. together which is going to be awesome. So today, my live today is, you know, this is kind of it. I wanted to focus on showing you the new stencils. There's three that I have in the shop right now, the cloche, the urn that we worked with. And then there's one that I call it an apple picking basket. That's what it reminds me of when you go to the apple orchard and you pick your apples that, what are those usually made out of? It's like a like thin a wood. Really thin or, wood. Or, yeah. So that one, this stencil also pairs so beautifully with some of um, the crate decoupage papers that are in Royce's line. So the trolley crate or the underwood oh, crate yeah, looks bet. awesome. And, and other ones, you know, it, it, Goes on and on, right? You can use your IOD stamps and create a wood grain background and stamp over that to have that wooden look. So those are the three stamps that I have in the shop. There's two more um, that have been, that are coming out. Now I'm back here. Um, but that the two others that are coming out are a snow globe, which if you haven't seen uh, Royce's video from yesterday, go to Royce's um, page and she demos the, the use of the snow globe and some fun winter accessories like a reindeer and a snowman and that will fit inside the snow globe and also suggests to us it doesn't have to be a snow globe it could be a terrarium somebody even said an astronaut's helmet i don't know go, go with it wherever your mind takes you that's the fun thing about being a creative right you someone designs a thing with one thing in mind but we get to take it in a whole other direction if we want to see if we have the pumpkin was it on a paper or stamp? The pumpkin is um, part of the fruitful harvest. That's what my 
pumpkin is. It was the Fruitful Harvest Iron Orchid Design stamp from last year. That one was limited edition. So if you do not have it, you may not be able to get it. If you are, if you live in my area, um, one of the things that I offer here as an IOD stockist where I do classes and workshops is students get to come in and they use my supplies. So you could still use my fruitful harvest and do a still life with pumpkin and grapes and all those things. The grape stamp is still for sale. Sunflower is for sale. Uh, but the apples and the pumpkins, I, I'm totally happy to make mine available for use. And what we did, Misty, was we stamped with the pumpkin stamp. <laughs> And then we, we use gesso, white gesso, or a white chalk paint would also do the trick. And we, we painted over our background inside the lines of the pumpkin. And then we stamped it again to get the detail back in. Then we use some watercolor paints to add color. So I'm going to, it is my plan over the next couple of Saturdays, maybe, to continue working on this. I'm gonna keep working on it and flesh out, you know, how we did those other things, how we stamped and painted and watercolored and, and got to this point. And, you know, I hardly ever know when to leave things alone, isn't that, isn't that a fact, mm -hmm. Helen? That's so nice. after, I applied some transfers around. So you can just keep on going and mixing and mixing your media left and right, east and west, all over the place. Um, so we're going to look forward to that. We're going to have a fall harvest mixed media project. If you're in my area, you are very welcome to come into the shop and use my pumpkin stamp. Um, would you come talk to people while I go and grab something? Just maybe okay. say goodbye. Just we're getting ready to say goodbye, but I want to show you one more thing. All right. In Here case. I am. Popping spell done, hopefully. I think I'm dealing with Minnesota allergies too and late summer ragweed, yeah. pollen, hay. All right. I'm and Liz just, is almost back. She's coming. I'm almost back. I want to show you guys. This is another, if you don't have the Fruitful Harvest stamp, this is a Roy Cycle Treasures paper. Um, this is another possible way to get pumpkins into your urn is um, using pumpkins from the decoupage tissue. There's little ones. There's big ones. They can be stacked up. So lots of ways. I hope if you care about it, that you were maybe able to get your hands on that fruitful harvest stamp when it was available. It's a good one. I just sold my last one this week. So anyway, that's what I've got for today. Um, Misty, sometimes I do come to Florida. So if, if and when I do next spring, I'll try to look you up and let you know that I'm there. Um, otherwise I think I'm going to sign off. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, we were a little closer to our one o'clock in the shop on Saturdays, but when our philosophy is that it's one o'clock somewhere, we want to be on time, you guys, but sometimes things here just, they get busy and, you know, the customers in the shop, generally speaking, get priority. So definitely love spending time with you. If you're around here, come on in and visit. Misty, I'll let you know. Where are you in Florida, Misty? Oh, Royce, thank you. I do have a lot of plans here for using that gorgeous um, stamp tissue paper. So Stay tuned. Next week, we'll, we'll take on another step here. So in the continuing saga of Liza Jane, live from the shop on Saturdays, 
Panama City. Do you know where that is? Panama City. Panama City. Where is that in Florida? On the Gulf side. Oh. All right. I'm in Fort Myers. I'm Fort Myers. Myers. Jill goes to Fort Myers. Um, so, God bless you all. Thanks for tuning in. We'll keep working on this project and um, see how gorgeous we can make it be. Bye. I love this mirror.